DB11 is really important for the future of Aston Martin. We are 102 years old. And DB11 sets us forward into the next century. It's part of our second century plan. It's the first foundation stone of our second century plan. And it really looks at 100 years of continued success for Aston Martin. There's the perfect balance of technology and there's the perfect balance of performance. The perfect balance of comfort in terms of luxury, but also the perfect balance of a dynamic Aston Martin sports car. And that's all emphasized by the exterior body shape and design. This is the widest grille that we've produced and the deepest DB grille that we've ever produced, really emphasizing the S curvature of an Aston Martin grille. It's so important. This is the unique part of our grille. This is what we own. We've emphasized this and made the grille much wider with a very dynamic edge at the end, very subtle line underneath. So there is a slight smile to the grille as well. If you look at this line here as well, coming off the top of the grille, very, very important to emphasize the subtle nature of the bonnet. And if you notice, there's no bonnet cut line. The bonnet cut line is down here, so it's integrated into the cut line of the bumper because it's now a clamshell bonnet that moves forward and opens forward, exposing the whole of the engine bay. Again, with an all new V12 5.2 litre turbocharged engine. This is very, very important. It's super high tech. It's venting air through here, through a channel, out of the back of the car so that we can have this beautiful center profile, which is unique out in the marketplace. No one else does this. No one else has a clean, simple line in the same way as DB11. And we have a little deploying spoiler that comes up to aid that as well. But Effectively, the patent system of rushing air through here, accelerating it, gives us this unique profile. In reinventing DB, you look at this hard line feature here through the side of the car, coming through here and wrapping around the back. You really start to see the muscularity and the wasting of the car at the side. But this is an unusual line for an Aston Martin. It's actually a falling line starts through here and you notice it starts to dip down and then it picks back up so it has this feeling of the power from the front of the car nestling into the driven wheels at the rear and all that is again picked up by this element here the one that just flicks your eye up so as you just feel as though the car is bedding down the eye starts to move up, so it gives that motion of moving forward. So you'll start to see all of that when you see the car from a distance. And as we come round to the back of the car, and hopefully the view that most other drivers are gonna see as you overtake them and pass them, you're emphasizing the power, you're emphasizing the driven wheels. So we talked about this light here, but you look at the power, the muscularity here as it dips down. And this is like a fine crease. Imagine you have a shirt or a suit that's been pressed perfectly. And this is what you get here. You get a perfect precision line. Very, very accurate. And that's one of the signatures of the rear of the car. <laughs>